And hello YouTube, this is Thomas Judge back once again and finally in 2020. This is my first video for a few weeks. Um, I figured I deserved a bit of a break after the 31 videos in 31 days. That was my DC New 52 reading guide. Um, but I'm back now with something a lot of people have asked about and um, I thought without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So on my channel, I basically do three things. I talk about the series of novels that I've written, No Gods or Kings, that I'm always trying to promote and publicise. Um, I also talk about custom comics and custom binds that I have made or printed or so on and so forth. And thirdly, I talk about reading guides and reading maps for different closed comic universes. Well, today's video is going to be about the second subject area, so about custom comics and custom bindings. And in particular, I want to do a tutorial series. Now, this is one of the things people ask me loads and loads about on this channel. Um, they ask me about doing custom binds, doing custom comics how it works, how to do it, where to go, all that sort of stuff. I do have a previous tutorial series, and I will link to the introduction video for that series in the description below. And that video talks about how to make custom printed comics. Just to give you an idea, by custom printed comics, I don't just mean getting stuff bound by a binder, so getting single issues or trade paperbacks bound. What I'm talking about is getting comics digitally, so in other words, getting a physical comic, cutting it apart, scanning it, having a digital version, and then having that printed at the size that you want. Often that's oversized, oversized hardcover or omnibus or absolute or whatever you might want. And I've got a detailed tutorial series on how I've done that in the past. It's not the only way to do it, I'm sure, but it's how I do it. And there aren't either, any other tutorials like that on YouTube, so I thought it was worth doing. As a result of that, people have asked me about doing the second series. And so this series is about custom dust jackets. Now, dust jackets are the sleeves that you have around your hardcover comics. And what I'm going to do in this series is talk about how I design my dust jackets. Now, what I'm showing you at the moment is a picture of Amazon Cover Creator, which is a bit of online software Amazon offer for people to make covers for their um, self-published novels and things like Kindle Direct Publishing and so on. I'm not going to be using anything like that. Um, what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be talking about is how I personally make my custom comics. And to do that, if you're going to watch this series and you're going to follow it along, you are going to have to install either something like or the actual version of GIMP, which stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. Here's a picture over here. This is the loading screen. And you will need to have something like that. Now, GIMP itself is completely free. It's open source software. You can download it from the official GIMP website. I'm not going to talk about how to download software and install it, because if you can't work that out, this tutorial series really isn't for you. Um, but once you've installed GIMP, then the actual screen interface itself looks like this. And this is the software I use to make my custom dust jackets, um, which you can see in my videos on my channel as well. So um, the custom dust jackets uh, vary. I've done quite a few different ones. And what I'm going to do in this series is talk you through how I build them, how I uh, get the images, how I sort out the text, how I layer them the exact way that I want and, and, and what I do with them. Um, I'm not an especially accomplished GIMP user. I do not have any kind of degree or qualifications or background in IT or in design. I literally taught myself using other YouTube videos. Um, what I thought I'd do in this series is pull all that information together and show you how to do it. So we're going to be using things like the Arrays tool, the Clone tool. We're going to be doing um, image scaling and blurring and all that sort of stuff, um, which is going to be really basic low-level GIMP skills, actually. But that's all that I know, and that's all that I've used to build my custom dust jackets, which look pretty good. So in terms of that, one thing I have to point out is I do have a particular set of skills I use in GIMP, but that doesn't mean they're the right set of skills. All I'm going to do is show you how I personally build dust jackets. What I tend to do is I tend to make them as four or five separate images. I tend to do one image file for the cover, one image file for the back, one for each of the front and back flaps, and then one for the spine. That's my method of doing it. That's not the normal method of doing it, actually, I think. And most people probably have differing ways and techniques of approaching this. I know if you've got official design software, you can have it all as one singular file that's got all the bits connected and measured up perfectly and so on. I don't have that kind of skill. So what I've always done is do, done it page by page, image by image. 
what I then do is get these files together with a bit of a rough guide as to how I want them put together. And the guy that actually does my binds for me, who um, is a professional binder or was a professional binder, has the official software that means he can just sort of like put all that together and work out the exact measurements and, and get that all sorted. But what I'm going to be doing in this series is showing you how I make what I call the assets for the custom dust jacket and how I go from zero to 99% of the way done. And then, like I say, I hand it over to someone else just to finish it off. Um, hopefully that's of interest to you. Um, if it's not, then by all means, you don't have to watch the rest of the series. But I just want to show you how I do it, because I get a lot of questions about that. In terms of um, doing it a different way, if you don't want to do it the way that I've done it, I just wanted to do a couple of shout outs and recommend a couple of channels that actually have some great binding information on there. So um, to start with, I just want to give a shout out to a channel which has got a series by Dr. Omnibus about how to personally, physically bind your own comics, like literally sewing them, gluing them, cutting them, making the boards, all the stuff that I do not do at all. I outsource all that stuff. However, there is a YouTube channel with a bunch of videos by Dr. Omnibus. The YouTube channel itself isn't called Dr. Omnibus. It's got the weird name of MCB CFA Play Network. God knows what that's about, but anyway, that channel is the one you need to check out if you want to see the Dr. Omnibus tutorials. I haven't actually followed the tutorials, I haven't watched them, because I am never going to physically buy my own comics. That's not something I have time for, or the interest, or the skill for. But I have it on very good authority from one of my buddies over at Atrocitus Collectibles, that the, the channel is really, really good. Speaking of Atrocitus Collectibles, here it is. It's a channel on YouTube, um, and the dude that runs it does great custom binds, really interesting stuff. And he's now started making his own custom binds from scratch, like literally cutting, sewing, gluing, all that sort of stuff, having followed the Dr. Omnibus tutorial videos. So I would strongly recommend you give him a follow and a like, and you check out some of his videos. Some of his stuff is really cool. One of the things that Atrocitus Collectibles does, which I very much respect and I've never seen anywhere else, is he takes omnibuses and he actually splits them down into thinner hardcovers. Um, which I think is great because personally, oversized hardcover is my preferred format. I find omnibuses a bit too unwieldy. So um, yeah, please check out the Dr. Omnibus channel and then please check out what someone's done with the information from that on a trust as collectibles. Uh, last but not least, if you're into custom binding, please check out a channel called The Hardcover Comic. Um, they don't have a huge number of subscribers, well... They have a lot more subscribers than me. Um, but I think they're criminally underrated. They do loads of stuff on there about custom binds that they get done. And they're really into their custom binds. They also have quite a lot of great videos showing how they prep their custom binds, what they do, how they plan them. Um, so it's well worth, well worth checking that out. Um, maybe if you prefer to know how that process is done um, with the particular binders they use, which are American binders, you might prefer those videos to my videos. Like I say, this video series is just going to be showing you how I personally do it. And what I do is build the assets, put together 90% of the stuff, and then pass it on to a professional to finish off. Um, if you want to do the whole thing yourself, from end to end, nose to tail, then those channels are probably more suited to you, and they are great channels. So I hope that's interesting, guys. This is the introduction video. All my series of YouTube videos always have an introduction video. Um, I'm planning on doing maybe eight or so videos in this series. So um, in terms of planned installments, um, they're going to be roughly something like this. Uh, video one will be about how to combine images, uh, which is much more tricky than it sounds and will involve a technique uh, using something called alpha channels, which is absolutely essential and fundamental to do. Video two will just be about basic image manipulation, how to resize images, um, how to tweak the color balance, things like that. Nothing exciting, but I think it's worth going over here. Video three will be about how to build the text on the cover. So if you're gonna have some text on the front or the back of your dust jacket, how you would do that in a bit of software like GIMP. Um, video four is about how to write your blurb text. In other words, if you're not very good at putting together nice fancy blurbs, how do you do that? What should inspire you? Where do you get the information from? And how do you match up your fonts? Video five will be about how to build the flaps, the front and back flaps um, that sort of curl in around the dust jacket. Video six will be about what I call the end leaves, which are the inside pages uh, straight away on the inside of the hardcover. Video seven will be a quick video on blocking, which I know I've mentioned in the past when I talked about one of my Witchblade hardcovers. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick overview of what it is and how it works. I may or may not as well as that do a video on something called spot UV, but um, 
I'll decide that nearer the time. This is kind of a live, flexible list that I'll just change as I as I change my mood, basically. And then right at the end, the very last and probably eighth video, I was thinking of doing a full live cover creation video from start to finish. Um, I was thinking of literally just streaming it, showing you guys, opening up GIMP, opening up files, starting off with some standard images and scans and making a custom dust jacket from scratch. It'll probably take about half an hour. I don't know if anyone's going to be interested in watching that. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll probably just do it as something that I'll video and then upload later. But if you want to do it as a live Q&A, so if you want to be there during the um, the stream and have, have me chat, chat through it and ask me questions, have me answer them as I do it, uh, let me know. I'm not going to be willing to do that unless I've got somewhere in the region of, I don't know, like a thousand subs, which is obviously loads more than I have now. Uh, but the reason I say that is from what I've noticed that even the channels that might have a thousand subs or so, often on Q&As they only get about a dozen people uh, because of time zones and people working and this and that and the other. So right now I've got 120 or so subs. Um, if I was to do a live stream, I'd probably get one person, which would just be really lonely. So I don't want to do that. Um, so please, uh, if you are interested in that, please uh, spread the word, get some more subs in. Um, and by that point, when I reach that series, I will, um, if you want, do a live Q&A video while I make a dust jacket, guys. Um, on that note, in terms of how I'm going to post it and when I'm going to post it, I'm not going to do these every day because they take a lot more planning and thought than you might think. Um, I'm not even going to do them every week. Um, hopefully I'll do them every week or two, um, but uh, they'll just be coming out as and when they're ready, which is kind of how I do all my videos. Um, you will find me posting other videos in between. In fact, I'm, I'm planning to do a couple of brief reading guide bursts of like two or three videos here, two or three videos there in the next month or two that might sort of interrupt and break up this tutorial series. Um, but don't worry about that. I just want to mix up the content. Hopefully you like the variety on the channel. I'm trying to keep things uh, mixed up and interesting. Um, hopefully that's useful, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the series when it starts, which will be in the next week or two. Um, and as always, thanks for the support. Um, as always, all the videos on this channel are only supported by you guys heading over to Amazon.com and picking up the first episode of my prose novel on superheroes, which is called No Gods or Kings. The first episode here is something you can see on screen, and it's over 200 pages long. You can download it for less than a dollar, and in fact, it's free if you have Kindle Unlimited. In fact, all four volumes that are out at the moment are free on Kindle Unlimited, but I still really appreciate you downloading them, reading them, and please leave a review. That would be amazing. Um, that's all, guys. Thanks very much, and until next time, stay classy.